guys, welcome back to the UK Scrap Addict. I'm Jess Claire Creates and I'm here with the next instalment of the National Scrapbooking Day Challenges. This is the first in the mood board challenges and you can see I've got the mood board there on the right hand side of my screen. This is available on the UK Scrap Addicts blog so if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning a, a quirky kit from Crafty Templates then you just have to create a layout using this mood board and I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description below which gives you all the details. So for this uh, challenge I have used a photo of me from my dad's wedding because their theme was red and white um, and I thought that it would fit really well with these colours. I don't scrap very often with red it's not a color that I use um, I don't always like using it so I did struggle a bit with this layout and you'll see that I don't actually end up using the band of red that I have tried there in fact I don't use much that's on the page as it is right now <laughs> I have created a frame from another piece of that page um, from the magic moments um, 12 by 12 paper pad which was from the works um, and I don't end up using that either. So at the minute I'm just kind of trying things out. I want to use um, some of the reds. I've taken some papers, some project life cards, some ephemera, some bits and pieces, bits of pattern paper, anything that I felt had a link to the colours on this mood board. And I'm using a 12 by 12 piece of textured white cardstock as my background because I knew that I wanted the background to be white. Um, and I'm just kind of moving things around and trying to figure out which bits I actually want on the page. Um, I'm just using some uh, pattern paper there to back my photo on because it's got some of the softer colours. I wanted to tone it down because that red is just glaring <laughs> but I don't end up using it so it's fine so I am trying some different embellishments out and I do actually use the love this piece um, I am just using some tissue paper there because I liked that green um, just to add another layer of texture behind my photo and I'm having a battle with my tape runner. I don't know if it's me, <laughs> but I just seem to really struggle with them. <sighs> anyway, I have fussy cut. No, I haven't. I've punched, punched some hearts out of um, plain uh, papers, red and green and white. And I don't end up using any of them because I bought the punch by accident and it's got scalloped edges. I'm not very keen on it. So I've just taken everything off <laughs> and started again and I've moved the papers around and in the end I decide I don't like that piece of red paper anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to go for this um, orange star paper instead. I'm sorry about my camera, it keeps um, trying to refocus, I'm not sure what it was trying to focus on. Um, yeah, so I've replaced that piece of red with the yellowy orange star paper instead, which is also from the Magic Moments paper pad. And I've moved my layout now to the right hand side of the page. These are some labels that I've got a sheet of and I just keep recopying the sheet. Um, and I've just fussy cut one of those um, pink ones out to have on that right hand side, um, just peeking out from behind the photo and I have gone into my stash and found some washi tape, some green washi tape which I don't use right away but I do use so I wanted to bring some of that green in and I'm battling again with my tape runner I don't know why I bother oh there you go <laughs> I've given up, I'm going for the double sided tape <laughs> so I'll cut out some of me sticking stuff down you don't need to see all that so I am happy with the layout now and what I've done with that um, little envelope is I've cut it in half because I didn't want the bottom part of it bulking out my photo too much. But I did want my photo raised slightly so I've used some adhesive foam tape which I just got from Poundland um, to back my photo on so it's sort of raised. Uh, and I'm just adding in some tiny word stickers that say the big day, uh, all you need is love and be the reason that someone smiles today. 
and that one says live colourfully which I thought was quite appropriate for this colourful layout and these are some of the Maggie Holmes um, Diamantes I think that's what they're called <laughs> um, that just bring in a bit more of that green I've just got kind of pops of green I've not stuck to the mood board very well but <laughs> I had it in mind I have adapted creative adaptation <laughs> and I'm just adding on some tiny vellum star stickers and enamel dots all over the place um, I kind of went a bit embellishment crazy on this page and I love it <laughs> I'm normally a bit stingy with my embellishments um, and because I do pocket pages more often there's so many photos and so much journaling that I don't need a lot of embellishments so I can be a little bit stingy with them so I really enjoyed just kind of going to town on this page and this is the first layout I've created that hasn't had any journaling on and I think I'm fine with that and then I remembered that I had this sticker sheet which I think is a simple stories one um, and that had quite a lot of red in it and I'd not used some of it so I've just added on some of the stickers from that and spelled out laugh with some of the um, letter stickers and there were some little flowers so I've just added some of those on as well and some of them are kind of that coral colour which I really like so I'm really happy with how this um, layout turned out and uh, do check out all the other National Scrapbooking um, videos from UK Scrap Addicts and I hope you have a great National Scrapbook Day. Thanks for watching!